Why do ATM keypads have raised dots? The accessibility secret. Have you ever noticed those tiny raised bumps on ATM keypads? Especially on the number five. Most people think they're just random texture. But what if I told you those tiny dots are part of a global accessibility code? One that started decades ago and quietly changed how millions of people interact with machines. Let's rewind. In the early days of ATMs, back in the 1960s and 70s, banks were obsessed with one thing, making machines fast, secure, and universal. But there was a major problem blind and visually impaired people couldn't use these new cash machines at all. The world was going digital, but accessibility wasn't even part of the conversation. Then came a breakthrough, inspired by something invented more than 200 years earlier. Braille, Braille uses tiny raised dots arranged in patterns so blind people can read with touch. But ATMs didn't t need full Braille. They needed a single universal reference point that could guide a user's fingers instantly. Engineers discovered something interesting when people type without looking on calculators, telephones. Computers, they naturally find the center of the keypad by locating the number five. So they added a raised dot to the five key. Just one bump that helps users orient their hand, find surrounding numbers, and enter their pin independently. Suddenly, the entire keypad became tactile, accessible, and intuitive. But the story gets deeper. The raised dot isn't just for blind users, it helps everyone. Even sighted people use it unconsciously when typing fast or in low light. Ever entered your ATM pin at night? Your fingers search for that tiny bump without you realizing it. Over time, the raised five became a global standard. Phones, keyboards, door locks, safes, and yes, ATI, all because of one brilliant design idea. Make the center identifiable by touch, and the entire machine becomes accessible. And here's the twist most people never realize. Those bumps aren't there for security at all. They're there for dignity. For independence, for making sure every single person, regardless of vision, can access their own money without asking for help. So the next time your finger lands on the five, remember, that tiny dot is a silent promise that technology belongs to everyone.